Well, we, we know who it's Weira, uh, nominated for the BOJ governor. We also know it's Ryozo Himono, mm -hmm. nominated for the deputy governor position, as well as Sinichi Uchida, as, as well as the deputy position here. Does this basically show this sort of, you know, the deputies, I should say, th they still have this MOF as well as BOJ sort of dynamic, given that, you know, Weira is sort of that outsider coming into the, the central bank now? Absolutely. And a lot of people are not necessarily calling him an outsider anymore. They're saying he seems to be a great fit for this position. So that narrative has sort of changed from that Friday night announcement. And I want to point out something um, I should say about the diversity uh, with these nominations. I mean, first of all, of course, we now have three men once again at the top of the BOJ, as we've had for a long time. But leading up to these uh, nominations today, we had a woman leading a candidate for a deputy role. You Okina. She was a BOJ former uh, official as well. And this nomination by Kishida and not choosing this woman to really be into in the top three positions here at the BOJ just shows just how Japan lags in the equality front uh, and and is behind. I mean, we've had Janet Yellen for the Fed, uh, ECB, of course, Christine Lagarde. So maybe still a long road ahead for Japan in terms of equality, especially at the leadership positions.